in this council here, the um, community of nations has decided that we want to take on a new challenge in our new program, which uh, the main title is uh, water security. It's what our societies are most concerned with. We need a secure uh, foundation for societal um, aspects uh, in water, for economic aspects, as well as for other things like transport and security of the people. And this leads me to our first of five priority areas that we have. It's uh, water disasters. The second big topic that we'll deal with is uh, we need to uh, um, get more aware of the possibilities and implications that groundwater has for our society. We have one big topic that is dealing with eco-hydrology. It is integrating the relation between ecology, water uses and societal aspects. So this is needed to, it is especially needed to design a more sustainable way of using our water resources. We have one big topic that is emerging at the moment, which is water and human settlements. So it is a very big uh, trend for urbanization. We have these, we see this in other UNESCO programs as well. And especially in the water sector, these big mega cities and agglomerations of people, they pose a serious problem for water quality. And this leads me to our last topic, which is water scarcity related with water quality. So it's a problem in many member states that we don't have enough water where we need it. And it's a variable in time and space, our water supply, and we need to make sure that we predict where the problems will be and that we give guidance and that we give tools at hand to the members to mitigate and to alleviate water scarcity related things. The next phase of IHP will start with its implementation in 2014. So we are now designing an implementation process that is meant to motivate more member states to actively participate in the program and in the training courses and in the dissemination of information and in education measures. The member states themselves, they will be responsible for setting the targets, they will define the milestones and they will also um, implement the materials and the actions of this new program. The political will of the memberships, governments, is a crucial aspect that we have to work on. And without the political will to change something in the water world, we can have lots of nice discussions in councils, we can have lots of nice programs on paper, but we will not change the way the people live in our world with scarce or um, otherwise contaminated water resources.